Almost all governments in Western Europe have legislation that's based on CO2. So if you can reduce the CO2 profile of your Western European fleet, you can realize a variety of savings. The region of the world that I come from in Europe, uh, CO2 is a major, major um, driver of uh, not only compliance but savings. The reason being that almost all the governments in the western part of uh, Europe have legislation that is based on CO2. So if you can reduce the CO2 profile of your fleet, you will uh, by default also lower uh, the tax that you pay. So that gives you one advantage. The other advantage is obviously that CO2 is on the same parallel line as consumption. So if you can reduce your CO2, you're automatically reducing your consumption. So that gives you a further saving. There's a further saving, which is to do with really the way that the leasing works in, in the region, in that the residual value risk is taken by the leasing company. But the second-hand market is so much more um, vibrant for uh, highly efficient, uh, low-consumption cars that it actually affects the residual value. So the higher that residual value, the less we pay, so we get a bigger saving. So altogether, there are many aspects to the savings that if you can reduce your CO2, down to uh, the lowest number that the business will uh, tolerate for that sort of car, it will deliver substantial savings.